back to the observatory, everybody. And today, I'm going to be ranking my top 8 favorite tracks of Wave 2 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, all of these tracks that are in Wave 2 are pretty good. A lot better than Wave 1. Uh, so, I'm still going to be doing this top 8 regardless. So here we go. Versus race using Rosalina, obviously. And... Uh, I had to adjust my mic a little bit. Alright. 150cc. No teams. Uh, let's do normal items. No. Mushrooms only. Normal CPU. All vehicles choose 8 races considering there are only 8 races in this uh, wave. So let's go to number 8, which is Mario Circuit 3. So I chose Mario Circuit 3 for number 8 because it's nothing more than it's it's just a SNES track. There's nothing special about SNES tracks. No um elevation, no trick ramps, except for uh SNES Rainbow Road. Uh and it's that's basically it. However, there are some parts of SNES Mario Circuit 3 that I do like, like the um the the details that are in it with the uh the bricks, uh the flags. But there's something missing about Mario Circuit 3 that I just had to um put it on number eight, and that is like the elevation because I love tracks that have elevation it brings out the dimensions of the track so this is why I gave Mario Circuit 3 the number 8 rating so yeah to be honest I honestly do not like Mario Circuit 3 in Mario Kart Wii because it's just a SNES track with no elevation Actually, not a lot of SNES tracks have elevation anyway, so... Oh, I'm so glad I pulled a mushroom there. Yeah, in case you are not aware, I am doing this live. So if my driving is a little bit bad, you'll know why. So yeah, Mario Ticket 3, number 8. For number 7, I chose Calamari Desert. Here's why I picked Calamari Desert. Well, this track was very close for a, a an upcoming city track that for the number 7 spot. But I picked Calamari Desert for number 7. Because, well... I do not like slippery tracks. Because they can throw off your lines, and you can easily hit the off-road. Just like that. So that's why I gave Calamari Desert the number 7 spot. But what's cool about Calamari Desert is that for lap 2, this ramp from Mario Kart Tour shows up and we go straight onto the train tracks that Calamari Desert 2 from Mario Kart Tour gives us and I'm going to try and avoid this train and the train can also be a nuisance which is why it's number 7 and just like that we are on lap 3 uh, hopefully the train doesn't come yeah the train can come uh, through the arrows and 
uh, you can easily hit the train. So that's why I gave it number seven. So yeah, number seven, Calamari Desert. For number six, I chose Cal uh, New York Minute. I almost said Calamari Desert. Yeah, for number six, I chose New York Minute. The reason for that is uh, the main road that is on New York Minute, just like with Calamari Desert, is very slippery. Something that um, the tour version of New York Minute didn't do, and it just makes the track a little bit more difficult. And yeah, there are double item boxes on top of the bus. Uh. Oh yeah, and not a single variant of New York Minute has reappeared in any way, shape, or form. So I kind of forgot what each variant of New York Minute looks like. So this is why I gave New York Minute number six because, well, I forgot what the track and its variants look like and the slippery wet road. Mario Kart Tour didn't do that. And we go almost the same route as the first lap, only we go through Rockefeller this time. Even the underground is wet, which kind of makes sense because uh, cars drive through there. Kind of makes sense. Number six, New York Minute. For number five, I chose Waluigi Pinball. You guys are gonna hate me for this, but it's the truth. Excuse me. So, the reason why I picked Waluigi Pinball over the others is because, well, people suspected that this part's gonna be anti-gravity. And many are disappointed that it's not, because look at this. This is anti-gravity potential. And it also looks like it's anti-gravity. But it's not. Uh, and the pinballs can be a nuisance, but it's mostly down here. Case in point. Um, oh yeah, and when you hit an item set, or across the finish line, arcade sounds will play, which is the nice touch. However, when you exit the pinball area, in Mario Kart DS and 7, even in Tor, which this is what this variant of uh, Waluigi Pinball is based off of, there are um, arcade sounds that you, that you can listen to. However, Nintendo removed the sound effect in this variant of Waluigi Pinball. So because of the pinballs, the uh, lack of sound effects in the uh, arcade area, pinball area, I gave Waluigi Pinball the number five rating. But I'm, but here's the thing, Waluigi Pinball is actually one of my favorite tracks from Mario Kart DS and 7, and Tour. And I am glad it's back in Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that uses the same music 
Oh. Uh, that Wario Stadium has in Mario Kart 8. That can also be a nuisance if you're not careful. It can really slow down your race. So yeah, that's why I gave Waluigi Pinball number five. For number four, I chose Snowland. The thing about GBA tracks in Mario Kart Super Circuit is that, just like with the SNES tracks, they are flat. However, when they arrive in... Can you trick off that? No, you can't. I mean, I saw that you can trick off the ice. However, I just suck. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Um, when it comes to GBA tracks, and they arrive in future either tours or uh, as a retro themselves, they have a little bit of elevation to them. Snowland takes it to a whole new level. I love this new variant of Snowland. And it almost looks like the original, uh, the original version. And this music, though, is... Mwah, chef's Kiss. So yeah, I, I gave GBA Snowland the number four rating because it... Many people thought that Snowland's gonna be, you know, a really bad remix of a GBA track. Like, take Sky Garden, for example. It had a massive downgrade. But with uh, Snowland, it's not that big of a disappointment. And I, and I like that. Can I? Okay, that wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah. Skyguard, uh, Snowland, number four. For number three, I chose Mushroom Gorge for Mario Kart Wii. Oh my gosh! Mushroom Gorge... Like, I knew this track was gonna be a marker 8 Deluxe. But I never expected it to be this good. Oh my gosh! Like... If I get a mushroom here... Okay. Watch this. Okay, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> I'll take it. I just have no words about this. This is one of my favorite tracks of all time in Mario Kart Wii. And I'm glad it's in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Taking a massive upgrade than how it looked like in Tor by giving us the ability to do the famous Mar Mushroom Gorge Gap Jump, which I can't do again because I just pulled a freaking coin. And this shortcut is back. I almost made it shroomless. You can actually make it shroomless. I've actually done it before. Um, so yeah, there's just nothing else much to say. The graphics look good. Uh, the grass, many people had complaints about the grass looking on Toad Circuit, and to be honest, I kind of had to agree. 
because the textures on Wave One's tracks were not that great, and so did that gap jump. So yeah, number three, Mushroom Gorge. For number two, I have Sydney Sprint for Mario Kart Tour. It's been my dream, uh, more like I've always wanted to travel to Sydney. I've heard it's a really good place, and the fact that it's in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe made it even better than how it looked like in Tour. Preferably the music. The music sounds a lot more jazzier than how it was in tour. One of my professors teaches jazz, and if I had to compare it, uh, compare this to tour, tour's version of Sydney Sprint, he'll say this one sounds a lot more jazzy. This route I am showing you is not a variant that has yet to be released a Sydney Sprint in Mario Kart Tour and the fact that we're driving it on driving on it now we'll get a glimpse of what Sydney Sprint 3 looks like and that route that I showed you on lap 1 that is Sydney Sprint 1 and the fact that we're driving backwards and this area right here is Sydney Sprint 2 and you actually drive this, uh, the way that I'm driving it right now, you actually drive that normally on Sydney Sprint 2. Sydney Sprint 2 is nothing more than just a backwards Sydney Sprint 1, but with that route. And for lap 3, you just drive Sydney Sprint 1 backwards. So basically it's like Paris Promenade where you drive the track backwards on lap 3. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice touch to uh, Mario Kart Tour tracks to do something like that. So yeah, uh, I just love this variant of Sydney Spring. So that's why I gave it number two. But there's one track that you just can't top it off. Unless if you have the right ingredients. And that track is none other than... Sky High Sunday. I mean, sure, the track is in a loop, but the loop looks delicious. And what's satisfying about this track, minus that, is that you boost off of the, the uh, pillars, which is kind of weird, but I love the weirdness of this track. And the fact that this this track is entirely anti-gravity, the very first Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC track to ever be in anti-gravity. I just love tracks that are in anti- I just can't speak today. I love tracks that are in anti-gravity. And this music though, you, there's there's no way you can top off this track. But maybe with hot fudge. <laughs> I love that scene from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. But... Uh, there we go. Now watch this. Oh, why did I do that? Ah, uh, hope I can show it lap three if I don't pull a coin. Oh, 
So yeah, this is why I gave Sakai High Sunday number one. Plus, I love ice cream. Okay, I can... I, I just love ice cream so much. What? I got hungry. So this is why I gave Sky High Sunday number one. Oh, come on. Give me a mushroom. Okay, got a mushroom. Oh, you got triple mushrooms? Alright, can I make this? Oh! Nailed it! So yeah, that's why it gave Sky High Sunday the number one ranking. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to keep an eye out for more and more Create Deluxe videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time.